Okay, this is going to contain spoilers. Um, this anime is not for people under the age of 18. <laughs> and, um, this one's a doozy. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm watching anime clips. I'm watching funny anime clips at what 12 a.m. at night when I have work literally the next day but I I was like I don't give a F <laughs> at this point I really don't um so I'm watching funny anime clips and I'm just scrolling through the internet watching funny anime clips and stuff like that and I come across a clip and I see this clip and and in the clip, I literally see someone get dick slapped. <laughs> like, like, literally dick slapped. <laughs> like, he literally just healed his dick and just slapped her with it. And I'm like, what anime is this? Because <laughs> any anime where the MC is just going around slapping people with his dicks, <laughs> with, his, with, with his dick, I'm all for it. So then I looked up the name of the anime and it's called Redo of the Healer. It literally just came out. I watched all three uncensored videos. You don't scare me! <laughs> within the span of a good two or three hours because <laughs> I was like so I was like this is a hentai isn't it <laughs> this this is basically what it is and if you don't know what it is if you don't know what hentai is google it I'm like this seems like a good funny anime because any anime where a guy is so savage that he's literally slapping girls with his dick in their face, no less. I'm all for it. <laughs> Chickened out and watched the censored version. Good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm also a savage, and I can handle. I, I can hand. I can handle the uncensored version, which I did. What? I'm not no bitch. Um. So, spoiler alert. This is basically what the anime is about if you don't want to watch the videos i mean the episodes if you don't want to watch the episodes episode three literally came out like a yesterday and um well not yesterday like two days ago and i watched the anime literally i watched the third episode literally an hour or two after it came out uncensored and i'm okay with that uh spoil spoil alert ahead because I will be giving out spoilers for those of you who really just don't want to watch the anime but want to know what happens. Uh, so basically the main character is a guy. Uh, he's a healer. You know the typical it starts off kind of like the typical um, magical fantasy realm of magicians, healers, brawlers, stuff like that in this magical kingdom trying to defeat this demon lord who's a girl a pretty girl by the way and obviously <laughs> so in the first episode we're introduced with the healer um and his group fighting this demon lord and their group is effed up the group's effed up and it's the job of the healer to heal them so when one of the one of his teammates said, "Hey, come heal us," you, you're this is what you're here for. He was like, "Nah." <laughs> he was like, "Psych! <laughs> I'm not healing you. I'm not healing you. Y'all can go f yourselves, and I'ma take on this demon lord, and I'ma win." And he did, which I was cool with, cause the anime looks great. It does, basically. 
So apparently the princess, the leader of the group with her pink hair, this son of a SOB right here, this pink haired son of a SOB um, is like the leader of the group. And she's like, yeah, good job. Hand over that crystal whatever thingy. I forgot what it's called. And give it to me in the kingdom. And, you know, the king, my father. That way we can start a whole new era of goodness and grace. And he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, F you. F your teammates, F all oh, y'all, y'all done basically messed up the whole world, this world is trash, y'all trash, I'm going to, basically he just says heal every time he does a mad magic and stuff, which I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure how that technically works, but basically he resets the whole world, which means he, but, and he's like, um, after I'm done resetting this world and we start our whole new lives and everyone's memories is erased and stuff, I'm going to get my memories back and I'm going to F your life up because you F'd mine up. Because this pink haired SOB basically had people use and abuse him <laughs> in his previous life. So he, during his new life, he apparently just walks into a forest and all of a sudden like a spirit fairy whatever comes and like kisses his eye and now he has a special eye which he can see things and stuff and he gets his memory back. I, I don't know. I guess that's just we gotta just put in something to make sense I guess. Not really. But but then uh, eventually he meets the princess again and all his memories come back after he gets the little magical mark and he remembers that he's a healer. So he ba he's doing like a monologue explaining why he's about to F this lady's life up because in his previous life he was a healer and apparently every time every time he healed people he would get memories of how they got injured and he would also feel that and stuff and he's like I don't want to do this anymore because this is going to take a real mental toll on me and make me go insane and I hate it I don't want to do this and the princess was like you're gonna do whatever I tell you to do and I'm going to lock you up I'm going to force people on you I'm gonna get you hooked on drugs and you're gonna do whatever I say so let that all sink in. <laughs> so in this, in his uh, new life, he remembers all the stuff that he did to her, and this is a revenge story. And I, I'm pro revenge, so that's why I, I decided to watch the next two episodes. I'm not even sure if episode four is out. If it is, I'm hella watching it. But, but, uncensored too. So. So, um, in the uh, first, uh, at the last of the first episode, he remembers all the terrible things uh, she had done. She had done to him, and uh, he's like, "Now, um, I'm going. I know she's going to try to get me um, addicted to drugs. So to combat that and build up a drug resistance." I'm gonna scarf down all these narcotics, natural mushrooms, and grass, and I'm just, he was high as hell. <laughs> he was. This dude was scarfing down mushrooms by the handful. <laughs> I don't know if that's legit. It's not. Don't do that. <laughs> but he did it. And now he's like, okay, my drug resistance is built up. Um, she's going to try to get me hooked on drugs and I'm going to be able to resist it for when she does that. Um, I'm going to have to go through everything else. And he was really like reconsidering do doing all of this and just like trying trying not to F, F her life up. But she shows her true colors again the first time he heals somebody. And it was kind of like a test to see if she was still a horrible SOB, which she was. And uh, she's like, okay, I have, he was like, okay, you're still 
they're still trash and I can't I don't curse so you're still trash and I'm gonna F your life up and he F'd her life up this lady had forced him to heal forced him on drugs forced him into abuse basically kept him as a a, a, a sex slave and it was tossing him around like a salad to all her teammates in the kingdom and calm and everybody so he's like so he so he eventually gets stronger by taking I don't know experience from like the maids he's been sleeping with and from like all the other people he's been healing that he's been forced to heal and he's learned all these new tricks and stuff to heal and stuff like so eventually the day comes where he's like okay the king is away because he's too powerful for me to deal with but his daughter that's who I'm after after the king leaves and um this so this is the perfect time for him he this dude breaks out of prison switches like faces magical po magical powers to fix Swap, swap faces with one of the guards that was basically beating the hell out of him and so when the uh, MC uh, gets the princess alone he enacts revenge and I'm gonna be honest with y'all I was ready for it I, I was I was re I was like I don't care what you do to this person now I really don't I was looking at other people's reaction news they was like this might be a little bit too much I was like nah this ain't enough <laughs> this ain't enough that's why I wanted to watch the uncensored version because I wanted to see the full course of the revenge and he got revenge <laughs> Highly sexualized, but revenge nonetheless. You know, cause he dick slapped her. <laughs> so he dick slaps her, um, breaks her fingers, rapid her. <laughs> um, this guy was about to for real burn this lady with a hot rod, which I thought he was gonna do, but he didn't. After he's done with his um, revenge, he changes her face and wipes her memories, and then keeps her as her as his little companion, and says, "Hey, I know you don't remember anything, but you're my like attendant, my little teammate, and we're also a, a, a couple. He's he's just going around." And acting his revenge on all the different people and just effing everybody's life up. He making profit on it too. <laughs> he he they're going around and I think episode three is where he actually picks up his second teammate. And in episode three, so he leaves town with the princess because he needs to get the hell out of there before someone notices him. And he's like, the one person I really don't want to meet is the princess's younger sister. Because she's just as terrible and she's smart. So she'll figure it out real quick. So I need to get the hell out of here. And so he takes the princess and leaves. And then we get a little bit more of his backstory and his previous life. And the abuse that he had to go through. Before he got the, um the uh, alchem uh, alchemist stone crystal thing so like I said the princess is an SOB so she's a skank a whore terrible person she once again we get a little bit more clip of him being abused she had this dude so hooked on drugs that he was willing to suck his own dick Miss Spirit I thought I'd share a story. It's a story as old as time itself, I'm sure anyone out there can relate to it. It's a story of when I first tried to suck my own penis. For the drugs. <laughs> Which, when I saw that, when I saw that scene, I was like, 
shouldn't he be breaking his neck? <laughs> shouldn't his neck be broken? Because that should not be humanly possible with the anatomy because I've heard stories of guys trying to do the exact same thing and then the very next day they're in a neck brace. After that happens, he then gets beaten the hell up by one of her, by one of the princess's jealous teammates because that teammate is like in love with the princess and so the teammate is like, you're, you're, you're a terrible man, I hate men and she beats the hell out of him and also starts licking his mouth because his mouth was on the princess mouth. It's, it's just, it's all over the place. And then right after that, this dude can't catch a break. Right after that, you got this big brawler guy, this big black brawler guy come in and beat him up. And also repay him as well. <laughs> And the dude really looks like he's out of it. He's like, I, like he has no energy. I'm surprised he's even moving at this point. This dude got mental issues. Everybody got some effed up mental issues up in this thing. And I'm really just waiting to see how he gets his revenge. I, I want to see the revenge. I want it. I love a good revenge story. And I think this might be a good revenge story. I don't even watch, I don't even watch anime like this. I usually watch Yaoi. I don't watch the head tie, but I'm willing to watch this one just because of the revenge. That's that's the main reason I'm watching it, is the revenge. Also, the animation color looks great. So if you want to know what the redo of the healer was, that that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure if episode four is out yet. I'm gonna keep a lookout for that. And I'm gonna watch it. And who knows? Uh he's gonna kill somebody. Cause this, like, this dude didn't suffer so much abuse and got used and abused so badly that he, his, his mental state is just all effed up. He, he, he is gone. He, he's for real gone. He, he, like, he might be a little, he might have like some bit of humanity and goodness left in him, but it's not a lot. And I want, and I want the writers to use that nor to make some really effed up revenge scenes because that's what i'm here for so thank you for watching